Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at a brand new version of Suyu Nintendo Switch emulator which also most likely is one of the last updates which Suyu emulator Android will receive in a long time. So right here is the version 0.0.3 update of Suyu emulator. It was released 2 weeks ago and I didn't cover it because I was unsure about the future of this emulator. But if we just go ahead and scroll to the right you will be able to see a good news that the Suyu is still under development because there have been 56 commits since this update which is really great news. It means that the developer is still working on the source code of the emulator and still updating it. By the way it did have some good changes in the version 0.0.3 update so preliminary fix for firmware 18 has been added, fix for Princess Peach Showtime was also added, fixes NROs crashing and loading infinite. This was also one of the major changes. Increase limit for FSR sharpness, audio and Android. So now the limit speed percentage goes all the way up to 400% which is an really amazing feature. So basically the current situation of the Suyu emulator is the fact that there are no longer many developers which they used to be previously before the discord server was taken down. Most of the developers of Suyu emulator have left. There are only few core developers that are still continuing and the main developer of Suyu emulator has mentioned that the project was temporarily freezed but they are awaiting for developers once they get developers they will keep continuing the project 56 plus new commits are to the suyu source code which means that there are still new features that are being implemented in this emulator so that's a plus point anyways for today's video we'll be using a brand new graphics driver which is extracted from red magic 9 pro uh, and this only works i guess on snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor android devices but you can definitely give it a try on your own device so hopefully we'll find out how well does it work on my iq 12 which also has snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor as you know red magic is one of the most powerful gaming android devices till now let's head on over towards the advanced settings and as the developer mentioned he has increased some limits so now the limit speed percentage goes all the way up to 400 percent because as you know once you restart the suyu or yuzu emulator android limit speed percentage automatically turns on every single time and it is very annoying well now you can keep it enabled and still get more than 100 fps while emulating switch games so props to the developer for uh, increasing the limit speed percentage Anyways, let's head back to the graphics settings here in terms of resolution. Today, we'll try something different. We'll go with 2x graphics resolution and accuracy level keep it at normal. V-Sync mode will make sure to turn it off. FSR sharpness level has also been increased to 200%. Now I'm not really sure if these are very functional uh, improvements or updates but for today's video let's keep the FSR sharpness level to 162. I'm also trying this update for the first time so we'll need to check out how well does it actually work. We also get a new aspect ratio which is going to be 32 is to 9 but I'll need to check if stretch to window works first of all because Suyu emulator had a bug in its previous updates where stretch to window aspect ratio was not functional. Let's also enable force maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders. Now that we have applied the best settings and remember we'll be trying to emulate some games and for today's video I'll be using the 17.0.0 firmware so let's head on towards the applet launcher and Q launch which is one of the best features in Suyu emulator android and uh, even Sudachi emulator got Q launch feature but it doesn't work properly unfortunately. Nonetheless as you will be able to see the Q launch has successfully started but unfortunately it is not recognizing the games that I have already loaded on my android device. Previously when we tested it out the queue launcher feature used to work flawlessly i have already made a dedicated video on it you can check it out on the icard above and we'll be testing out pokemon let's go pikachu for our today's video so let me import and save data and let's jump right into the gameplay test by the way if you guys want me to test out pokemon scarlet on suyu emulator then let's hit 250 likes on today's video and i'll post a dedicated gameplay anyways let's open pokemon let's go pikachu and i'll talk about the future of nintendo switch emulation on android go to settings and afterwards controls player 1 and select the controller type as handheld so we can play let's go pikachu and let us also lower the graphics level to uh, let's say 0.75x because i want to see how much fps can we actually get from and general nintendo switch emulation on android in the suyu emulator's latest update let's continue our adventure there we go we are getting about 90 fps inside house and the texture quality is also pretty decent now the graphics quality is not as good as egg NS emulator i have to say this because egg NS provides almost uh, close to nintendo switch level of textures but obviously egg NS emulator should not be used uh, i don't use it and i don't recommend you guys to use it as well because it has lot of ads and it is shady overall but let's exit the house and see how much fps can we get in open world scenarios uh, with a decent level of graphical resolution and at the top left corner you will be able to see that we are getting around 
uh, 30 to 40 FPS in outside worlds, which is not that bad. But let me just go ahead and open graphics settings and uh, we'll decrease the FSR sharpness level to 0%. Now let's go back and this time we are still getting around 40 FPS. So yeah guys, FSR sharpness level doesn't really matter that much. Nonetheless, the game is pretty playable and uh, let me just go ahead and exit emulation because now we'll try out the gameplay with 2x graphics resolution. So let's jump directly from 540p resolution to, to 1440p slash 2160p resolution and I'll be back. Alright guys, now we are emulating this game at 2x graphics resolution and I can immediately notice the fact that the the game looks really really detailed now the graphics are really amazing and this is literally nintendo switch emulation in 2k resolution at uh, more than 70 frames per second at least inside house so let's exit our house and find out how well does it actually work and still we are getting similar amount of fps i think higher resolutions we are getting similar amount of fps as you might be able to see in the top left corner around 41 to 42 fps so you can even emulate your games at higher resolution in suyu emulator and it won't affect the gameplay performance by that much so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this update of suyu emulator i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye